Hi everyone, welcome to the next session of Geotechnical Engineering 1. In last class, we have discussed the different types of soil properties. We have discussed about the different types of soil classifications and we have seen the consistency indices. In today's class, we are going to classify the soil mass based on the particle size distribution or based on the grain size distribution. As well as we are going to discussing about the fine grain soil classification and uh, coming to here soil classification we are having different type of uh, soil classifications the soil classification based on the size we will discuss here and if you see here based on the size of the soil mass based on the size of the soil mass we are having different type of soils first the individual size of the particle mass we will see after we will discuss the individual type of the soil particle and uh, coming to the based on the type of the soil mass we are having the clay size particles and this uh, clay size soil mass we will call it as the clay when the soil mass is having the size is uh, less than 2 micron size or the soil particles which is having size between 0 0.002 mm those type of size will be called as the clay size that means the particle size diameter what are the various type of size you are taking it will be less than 0 0.002 mm these those type of size will call it as the clay size after this clay soils we are having the other type of soil that is uh, silty soil and uh, the silty soil is the type of the soil which is having the particle size is greater than uh, 2 micron and it will be less than the 70 micron in uh, size suppose if you see here the silty soil having the size of uh, 2 micron which is uh, greater than 2 micron and the particle size of the soil mass which is uh, less than the 75 micron size that means the the the, distance, the difference between the these two ranges of the soil particles will be called as the silty soil after the silty soil again we are having the one more type of the soil mass the type of the soil mass is called as the sand sand it is the type of the soil based on the size in which the size of the particles it will be it will be in between 75 micron to 4.75 mm size that it will be called as the sandy soil that means the soil which is having more than 75 micron size and which is less than the 4.75 mm size this type of soil will call it as the sand and suppose if you see here the size of the particles which is having size greater than the 75 micron size and the size of the particles which is less than the 4.75 mm size this type of soil will be called as the sandy soil about all these sands and the gravel already we have discussed in our previous concrete technology lectures and again if you coming to see the gravel soils gravel these are the materials again which is having the size in between 4.75 to 80 mm that means the size of the particles which are greater than 4.75 mm sizes and the range maximum range of the gravel particles it will be you know 80 mm that means the size of the particles which are in between 80 to 4.75 mm you can call it as the uh, gravel soils. Next, we are having one more type of the soils. That one more type of the soils are nothing but the cobbles. The cobbles also are having the size of the particles as uh, it will be more than 80 mm in you know, size and whichever is less than 300 mm in the size. This type of the soil mass we are uh, can, we can classify the based on the size of the soil particles. Uh, if you consider any mountain valleys and rocks, the mountain valleys and rocks are uh, get uh, weathered by the physical weathering or uh, chemical weathering. Based on that uh, physical weathering, the large size boulders or cobbles will be get converted to by mechanical action will be uh, forming this type of uh, gravel, sand, silt and uh, clay. Based on this uh, weathering action, based on the physical weathering, based on the chemical weathering, again uh, different type of soil we have formed uh, based on the type of the soil classification system. And again if you see here the size of the particles uh, which is having in range between 75 micron to 80 mm we will call it as the coarser fraction or coarser material and the size of the particles which is having in size between 2 micron to 75 micron uh, we can uh, call it as the fine grain uh, fine grain size or uh, finer material and suppose if you see here this type of the size mass uh, we uh, can uh, call it as the fine grain size or fine grain size fine grain size are the nothing but uh, fine grain size are the nothing but the size of the particles in between 0.002 mm to 75 micron mm 
those type of soils the based on the size it will come in in, in between this range those type of soils we can uh, call it as the fine grain soils again in fine grain soil this soil will come as uh, either clay or silt how clay it will come how silt it will come based on that uh, further discussion we will see after next we are having one more uh, size of the particles the other type of the size of particles are nothing but the coarser size of the particles that is nothing but the coarse soil this uh, coarse soil having the materials in size between 75 micron to the 4.75 mm the size of the particles 75 micron to 4.75 mm will be called as the sand again the size of the materials uh, 4.75 to 8 mm it will be called as the gravel soils gravel soils and again uh, soil class uh, uh, Sandy cell based on the maximum percentage of the content of these materials, we may get uh, classified into a different type of the soil condition. Suppose how we can uh, say that after uh, performing, after seeing that particular type of the soil, whether it is the clay soil or whether it is the gravel soil, whether it is the sandy soil, it is, how can we can say that uh, means uh, based on the type of the material content maximum in that particular type of the soil, based on that uh, we can say that uh, that particular type of the soil is either uh, coarse grain soil or uh, fine grain soil. Already we have seen coarse grain soil will become under category of uh, gravel and uh, sand. Whereas uh, fine grain soil uh, will be come under category of the silt and uh, sand. What we are doing means uh, suppose I am taking uh, some amount of the soil mass. For example, I am taking uh, 15 kg of the soil mass. For this uh, 15 kg of the soil mass, if you consider in this uh, 15 kg of soil mass, suppose uh, there is a quant of material which is having 5 kg as uh, one type of the soil and uh, the other type of the soil mass uh, which is having in the size of uh, 10 kg. Suppose the, I am considering two type of the size for this uh, two, uh, same size in this uh, same size the, based on the size the, there is a size of the metal which is having 5 kg and there is other size of the particles mass which is having uh, 10 kg and suppose if you observe here this uh, 5 kg 5 kg weight of the soil mass which is having in size is uh, less than uh, 75 micron size then we can uh, call it as the fine grain soil Suppose this is the 50 kg of the soil mass. In this 15 kg of soil mass, 5 kg of the soil mass, which is having the size in between or less than the 75 micron size. Whereas the remaining portion 10 kg of the soil mass, which is having the size greater than 75 micron. Hence, this other type of the soil mass, which is having greater than 75 micron. 75 micron sign we can uh, call it as the coarse grained uh, soil that means the based on the type of the soil uh, type of the soil particles based on the 75 micron sieve how much amount of percent 50 percent is more than either in the 75 micron ISU it will be less than the 4 percent for micron sieve based on that we can classify whether the soil is coarser material or finer material so if you consider uh, if you see here in this 15 kg of soil mass this uh, 5 kg is uh, less than the 75 micron uh, ISU whereas the remaining uh, more than half amount of the soil mass is uh, greater than uh, 75 micron ISU hence why you can uh, name it name this uh, soil as for up to this range as uh, coarse grain soil coarse grain soil and again if you see here 50 kg of soil mass i have uh, taken and uh, i have separate 5 kg of the soil mass which is having a uh, size less than 75 micron isu and uh, this is the other uh, 10 kg of the soil mass the other 10 kg of the soil mass is uh, come size uh, greater than the 75 micron sieve hence why based on the 75 micron ISU more than 50 percent it was retained hence i am taking it as the coarse grain soil First suppose here it is uh, 10 kg of the soil mass and here it is uh, uh, 5 kg of the soil mass then uh, the majority quantity of the material more than half portion of the soil mass is uh, less than uh, 75 micron sieve and so we can uh, classify this type of the soil as a uh, fine grain uh, soil this fine grain soil story is different that we will see in the subsequent slides and again if you see in this uh, 10 kg soil uh, based on the 75 micron ISU size the material what, has, what is retaining on 75 micron sieve is uh, more than 10 kg and so we can uh, name it as the coarse grain soil again for this uh, 10 kg of soil mass again after doing the sieve analysis based on the 4.75 mm sieve suppose if the material written on the this uh, 10 kg of the soil mass suppose uh, this is uh, 3 kg of the soil mass is here and uh, next time we are having the 7 kg of the soil mass 
And again, if you consider here this uh, three kg of this oil mass, the size of the particles which is uh, less than uh, four point seven five mm size, and uh, whereas if you consider the size of the particles, uh, the particle size uh, which are greater than four point seven five mm size of the particles. And again, if you see here, uh, the three kg of the oil mass which is having in size uh, greater than seventy uh, five micron size, but it will be less than the four point seven five. 4.4.5 mm says and whereas where if you see this type of this oil uh, in this uh, 7 kg of this oil mass in this uh, 7 kg of this oil mass it will be greater than the 4.75 mm size based on this uh, more amount of the oil uh, greater than 4.75 mm size already this oil classification we have seen the size of the particles which is uh, greater than 4.75 mm size to 80 mm those type of oil mass we are uh, name it as the gravel oil hence why the entire oil mass will be come under category of the coarse grain soil the entire soil mass the total soil mass what you are taking here it will be taken as the coarse grain soils coarse grain sorry coarse grain gravel soil coarse grain gravel soil first we are taking the total quantity of the soil mass we have a different set of sieves and based on that sieve analysis more than 50 percent of the metal is uh, retaining on the 75 micron sieve that we can uh, name it as the coarse grain soil again for this coarse grain soil more than 50 percent of the metal is uh, retained on the 4.75 mm sieve then we can uh, name it as the gravel suppose if the metal what it is retaining on the 75 micron more than 50 percent is passing that is the fine grain soil that story is different and again if you see here here the more than 50 percent of the metal is uh, passing from the 75 micron sieve hence we can uh, name it as the coarse grain for this uh, coarse grain soil again we are having the coarse grain if you consider the coarse grain soil for coarse grain soil we are having the gravel and the sand and again you know coarse grains are gravel and sand what type of other type of the metal is available that we should have to know again the majority of the amount are based on the 4.75 mm which is retained more that will be Concern under the sub category that is the main category that main category of the material post grain soil we are taking as the gravel soil that from this the total entire soil mass 15 case of the soil mass what you are taking is nothing but the coarse grain gravel soil that the coarse grain gravel soil we can say the total entire soil mass at the gravel type of the soil mass based on the uh, sieve analysis particle size distribution we can determine the different type of the soil mass based on the different type of the experimental investigation next we are having the methods of sieve analysis now we will see the methods of sieve analysis and if you consider here method of, methods of sieve analysis based on the different type of the soil particles we are having the different types of uh, sieving methods uh, methods of uh, soil analysis methods of soil analysis this uh, methods of soil analysis uh, we are having the first one is the seed analysis first one is the sieve analysis sieve analysis and uh, second one is the sedimentation analysis first one is the seed an analysis and uh, second one is the sedimentation sedimentation analysis Again, this uh, same analysis uh, which was uh, performed for the type of the soils as a coarser material. This is sieve analysis also it will be called as the particle size distribution or a particle gradation test or a mechanical sieve analysis. This uh, mechanical sieve analysis normally performed for the coarse grain type of the soil mass. For again this coarse grain type of the soil mass, the soil mass it will be useful for the gravel soils. That means gravel material as well as this material will be will be useful for the sandy soils. For gravel soils and the sandy soil we will use the particle size distribution or sieve analysis. Whereas sedimentation analysis it will be useful for the fine grain soils. Those fine grain soils are nothing but the silt and clay. For analysis of clay particles and silt particles we will use the sedimentation analysis. After this sedimentation analysis we are having one more analysis that is the Atterberg limits. Based on the Atterberg limits also we may can determine the characteristics or properties of the fine grain soils or clay soils or silty soils. Again for this gravel soils and as well as sandy soil we will have the particle size distribution. Based on this particle size distribution we can determine whether the type of the material gravel and sand will come 
under category of the well graded material or poorly graded material or uniformly graded material based on the type of the grading nature of the material we can say that whether the floatable material will be useful for the construction or not we can determine by using this particle size distribution curve for this particle size distribution curve what we are doing mean first we are performing one experimentation field experimentation as well as the laboratory experimentation also can conduct for the gravel size and sandy size for this what we are uh, formulating means we are uh, formulating uh, some table for the classification of the identification of the soil mass what i am doing means here i am taking uh, some set of sieves and these are set of sieves i am taking some set of sieves 1 2 3 4 and uh, 5 suppose what i am doing here means uh, first i am taking the size opening of the soil mass or a sieve size i am taking here i am writing here sieve size okay sieve size i am taking here uh, of this uh, sieve size uh, i am taking some point of material that point of material i am taking as i am writing it here as the weight retained on the individual sieve retained weight retained of this uh, weight retained of the soil mass i am taking here one more uh, slide that is nothing but the percentage weight retained percentage weight retained of the soil mass of this uh, percentage weight retained i have uh, one more uh, step uh, percentage uh, cumulative weight retained, percentage cumulative weight retained. Of this, uh, we are having one more table that is nothing but the percentage passing. This is the percentage passing. Based on this uh, table, we can uh, determine the whether the type of the given soil is come under category of the coarse grain soil or a fine grain soil or whether the soil mass is come as a sandy soil or gravel soil with well grade, fully grade or uniformly grade. What I am uh, taking here means based on the uh, coarse grain soil, fine grain soil, I already we have discussed that. If you see here the gravel soil mass we are having which is size is a range in between 4.75 to 80. M, 80 m the coarse grain metal the gravel metals what we are having we are discussing in the size between the 4.75 to 80 mm whereas the sandy size we, which is having in the size between uh, 75 micron to 4.75 mm in the size under the gravel the sandy metals what we are taking here it is having uh, in size between 75 micron to 4.75 mm and coming to here the size of the size of the sieves we are taking for gravel material as suppose i am considering uh, i want to know uh, 100 cases uh, there is uh, some uh, heap of uh, coarse grain material that, such as gravel is there the type of the gravel whether it be suitable for the construction purpose or not or what is the various type of size of the particles present in the heap i should want to know for that uh, this uh, laboratory experiment we are doing for the particle size distribution what i am doing is first i am taking the 80 mm cu size of this uh, i am taking uh, some 40 mm size cu of this I am taking the 20 mm size sieve, of this I am taking as the 10 mm size sieve, of this I am taking as the 4.75 mm size sieve. For this 4.75 mm size, for all these type of sieves, what I am taking means, I am suppose I am considering 100 kg of the gravel mass I am taking from the heap. The suitability of the construction material, what type of gravel you are using there, I am taking from 100 kg. In this 100 uh, uh, case of the gravel mass I have taken and uh, size it is the uh, one type of regular volume of the material which is having some uh, openings in between or pores in between the sieve to material retain or to pass the material from the sieve. If you see here this is the type of the sieve. In this uh, type of the sieve, it is a uh, steel metallic with uh, steel waste. In this uh, sieve, there are uh, different uh, openings are available. Based on this uh, openings, we can uh, predict whether the what type of the sieve, sieve it is there. So if you see here the size of the opening, how much it is we are providing for the particular type of sieve that gives the name to the particular type of the sieve. The opening of the size, the opening size of the sieve, it will be suppose uh, 2 mm, then we, we can call it as the 2 mm sieve. Suppose the opening in between the sieve, it will be 4 pence and 5 mm, then the name of the sieve, it will be sized as the uh, uh, 4.75 mm sieve. Uh, suppose it is 10 mm, we can uh, size as the 10 mm size of the sieve. And again, if you see here, based on this, uh, I am taking 100 uh, case of material. Based on this uh, set of sieves, I am arranged in the 
order in the ascending order that means in the decreasing uh, decreasing order 80 mm 60 mm 40 mm 20 mm 10 mm 4.75 mm like that see set up see some arrangement in the order and suppose if you see here the weight retained in the 80 mm cu the metal we are taking it as the suppose 5 kg of this iron mass and again if you see uh, uh, yeah, this is the, the example values i am considering here these are these are not the realistic values what we are getting at the outset for the practical field condition and suppose if you see here uh, 40 mm size of the sieve particles for this uh, 40 mm size of the particles the metal what we are retained on the 40 mm sieve suppose i am taking it as a 40 kgs suppose i am taking it as a 20 kgs and the next other type of the sieve we are having the 20 kgs here uh, 15, 5, 20, 20, 40. Suppose uh, remaining the other material what we are having uh, taking here, suppose uh, 35 kg of the soil mark. That means the metal what we are retaining on uh, 10 mm sieve as uh, 35 mm and uh, 35 to 25, 60 and uh, remaining. 40 okay 25 kg of the soil mass and suppose if you consider the total weight of the soil mass it will be equal to the total weight of the initial sample how, how much you are taking for uh, calculating this experimentation 5 15 20 40 40 uh, 40 80 20 100 kg yes, that means the total weight of the sample uh, the total weight of the sample we are taking this coming as the 100 kg of the soil mass of this 100 days of this oil mass, we are uh, calculating the percentage weight retained for the individual sieve. This uh, total how much amount of weight we are taking here, the, here this is the 5 case and how much percentage the, uh, the 8 mm sieve having the how much amount of weight retained the total with respect to total quantity that we should have to find out. That is nothing but uh, 5 divided by total weight of the sample taken 100 into percentage weight retained into 100 percent. Nothing but we are getting this uh, percentage weight retained on the 80 mm sieve as uh, 5 percent the entire quantity of weight the total quantity of weight of the metal 5 percent weight was retained on the 80 mm sieve as, as well as if you calculate the 50 mm sieve we are having nothing but 15 by 100 into 100 you know 15 40 mm sieve we are having 15 percent of the weight retained as well as 20 kg of the sieve if you observe 20 divided by 100 into 100 you will get 20 percent of the soil mass as well as 35 kg of the soil mass 35 divided by 100 into 100 you will get 35 uh, percent of the soil mass as well as if you see here 25 case of the soil mass 25 divided by 100 into 100 uh, you will get the 25 percent of the soil mass this is the how percentage of weight retained for the each individual sieve of this we have to calculate the percentage cumulative weight retained that percentage cumulative weight retained is nothing but the Comparison of one sieve to with respect to other bottom sieve based on the percentage cumulative weight we are finding. This percentage cumulative weight retained first for first sieve, this is only one metal retaining here, and so a percentage cumulative weight retained we are taking it as uh, 5%. For this uh, second 40 mm sieve, the percentage weight retained it will be combination of the first sieve and the, the metal retained in the second sieve. That means 5% plus 15%, we are having the 20% as a percentage weight rate, cumulative weight retained on the 40 mm sieve and again if you see in this sieve 20% and 20% we are having the 40% of percentage weight retained and again if you see here this is the percentage cumulative weight retained as 75% and this 75% and 25% of the percentage cumulative weight retained 75-25 we are getting as the 100 percentage of the cumulative weight retained. Always you should remember that the weight of the material what you are taking at the initial condition it should be equal to the material retained on the each individual CU. Of this each individual CU we are taking the material percentage passing from the individual CU. The percentage passing on the individual CU is nothing but the 100 minus 5 percent. Percentage passing uh, with reference to the 100 percent we are taking this uh, value that is 100 minus 5 percent uh, we are uh, getting this value as uh, 95 percent final and 100 minus uh, 20 we are getting this value as uh, 80 percent and 100 minus uh, 40 100 minus so 100 minus 40 we are getting as 60% of the weight retained 100 minus 75 we are having the 20% of the metal of the final 100 minus 100 we are having 0% 
uh, passing from the 4.1 fml so that means 4.1 fml uh, mm so uh, the passing of the metal is uh, not there that means uh, there is no fine grain size so there is no sandy material there is only gravel material why because uh, the passage of the metal from 4.5 uh, mm is zero the metal what it will be less than 4.5 it will be called as the sand but there is no sand here only available metal is the gravel which is having in size between 80 mm to the 4.75 mm size more than 4.75 mm size this is the particle size distribution how we are performing for the uh classification of the soil or identification of the soil for this uh, classification and identification of soil we are plotting the graph of the particle size diameter with reference to the percentage of the passing on the y axis in a particle size uh, y x axis we are uh, taking the particle size the diameter the particle size diameter we are taking it as the logarithmic scale the logarithmic scales are used for to, to classify the soil from very large diameter to very smallest diameter hence why we are using the log scale otherwise uh, if you having the same size of the particles uniform size we can use the normal graph also in last step what we are doing is uh, we are taking the set of sheets 4.75 mm and uh, 10 mm next we are having the 40 mm next uh, next uh, we are having the 4.75 mm 10 mm after this we are having the 20 mm after this uh, we are having the 40 mm and after this uh, we are having a 80 mm this is a 100 mm and 120 mm we don't have the size of the different type of the particles we are not considering again if you see here uh, the percentage of the passing in uh, y axis uh, here if you want to write you can write here uh, uh, particle size opening you can uh, write it as uh, particle size opening particle size opening and uh, this uh, y axis uh, we can uh, write as the uh, percentage passing or uh, percentage final the size of the opening what we are giving here uh, it will give the percentage of the passing material or uh, percentage of the final material and if you observe the previous table from previous